everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a really simple hooded towel for your little one. So you can buy hooded towels all over the place, but we found they're really, really good up until your child reaches about four or five, and then they just are just too short. They You can't wrap them around them enough. And so I saw a really good tutorial that I thought, right, I'm gonna have a go of making these. So I've just ha had a go and I've made one for Emily and now I'm going to go and make one for Jessica so I thought I'd share with you how to do it. All you need is um, two towels. So you need a um, regular bath towel and a hand towel. I've just gone for two in the same colour that we already had so because I thought if I mess it up you know it doesn't really matter but the first one I did and it worked perfectly and so now I'm just going to do exactly the same with the second one and show you how I did it. Okay, so what you're going to need is a full size bath towel and a hand towel. You're going to need a pair of scissors or possibly a rotary cutter and a cutting mat. I've got a fabric pen here, but just any old pen will work. A kind of circle template, I've got a paper plate or any plate will do. And then some pins, or I use these fabric clamp things to um, help hold things in place. So first thing you need to do is the hood part of it. So if you open up your hand towel and we're going to use one of the edges that's already sort of sewn and nice as one as our long edge. And we're going to need to measure and cut 60 centimetres wide by 35 centimetres high. <laughs> you've done this fold your fabric in half so that your long edge is folded in half and you make sort of a square shape next you're going to need to shape the hood part so on the opposite side to the hemmed edge you're going to take a paper plate and on the top corner you're going to mark and cut that corner off and then also move the paper plate down and then you can mark and cut off that corner as well this means that the top of the hood is curved and also it curves in at the neck to create a nice hooded shape once you've done this i just pin or clamp that section closed to hold it all in place ready to take to the sewing machine and you can see here that the, you're going to need to stitch from the top edge all the way around the back of the neck to the bottom of the hood but leave the bottom edge open so at your sewing machine you're going to need to sew from that top edge using a straight stitch i always sew back and forwards a good few stitches forwards and then in reverse a few stitches to seal and secure the edge at the beginning and the end and then sew all the way along you'll use a straight stitch for this and then later on you're going to need a zigzag stitch to go over it Finish off the ends, back and forth, just to make it nice and secure. You'll then need to change your stitch type to a zigzag stitch. Again, once you've secured this at the start, you'll do a zigzag along that same stitch. This is to make sure that you are catching all of those loose edges and so that the towel won't fray when you wash it. Go back and forth to secure at the end again. It should look like this. Next you need to lay out your large bath towel. You need to mark the centre. I've done this with one of my clamp pins and then lay the hood above it and you're going to need to line up that center pin or clamp with the center of your hood then use more pins or clamps to secure the rest of the hood in place you can see here that you have got the outside neat seam and then you're going to sew along this line here just like before sew 
along using a straight stitch to secure the two tails together. And just like before, you're going to do a zigzag stitch, so change your stitch type and do a zigzag stitch all the way along that same edge. and this will be hidden on the inside of your towel. If you turn the towel over you'll see the seams look nice and neat and you'll have a nice curved neckline. So there you are, if you can sew in a straight line either on a sewing machine or freehand you can make one of these hooded towels. They're big enough even for an adult, maybe a little bit tight on the head but big enough for an adult and would be perfect for children over the age of three or four who the regular little baby hoodie towels just don't fit anymore. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, don't forget to click that heart button and I'd love you to subscribe for more content like this coming your way soon. Bye!